and the fanbase will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies that pissed off their fanbases. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at films tied to popular franchises that left fans feeling underwhelmed, enraged, and flat out betrayed. Who is this nutball? <laughs> Number 10. The Matrix Reloaded and The Matrix Revolutions. It is purpose that defines, purpose that binds us. After the cultural phenomenon that was The Matrix, audiences were psyched to learn that two sequels would come out within months of each other. Alas, this ultimately doubled the disappointment. What's interesting about The Matrix sequels is that both share many of the same problems – redundant action sequences and pretentious speeches. Yet each sequel is a different breed of bad. Reloaded is too overstuffed, packing in excessive scenes that go nowhere. Revolutions, meanwhile, is a slow snooze fest that delivers an unsatisfying conclusion to a trilogy that wasn't meant to be. Suddenly, the Wachowskis went from being the next George Lucas to being, well, the next George Lucas. More on his fall from grace later. Why, Mr. Anderson? Why? Why? Number 9. Alien 3 and Alien Resurrection <sighs> Where are you when I need you? Ridley Scott's Alien was a masterwork of sci-fi horror, and James Cameron's 1986 sequel was a textbook example of how to up the ante. Alien 3, on the other hand, took an enormous step backwards within its first few minutes. You know Newt and Hicks? Remember how much you came to care about them in the previous movie? Well, they've been unceremoniously and soullessly killed off. Oh, and don't get any more attached to Ellen Ripley, because her days are numbered as well. Fans kept their fingers crossed that Alien Resurrection would make up for the poor creative decisions that had tarnished the franchise's legacy. Instead, the studio dug themselves deeper into a pit of backlash. So, like, what did you do? I died. Number 8. Spider-Man 3. Settle down, son. No, I have no intention of settling down. This man killed my uncle, and he's still out there! The hype for Spidey's third cinematic outing was so astronomical that numerous fans were angry when negative reviews started pouring in. Of course, once they watched the movie, audiences began to understand what critics were talking about. The dance sequence and emo Peter are the most glaring errors people often point to. What really pissed off comic book readers is that the film shoehorns in several fan favorites, including Gwen Stacy and Venom, but does nothing interesting with them. There's a difference between actually developing characters and simply acknowledging that characters exist. This is a trend that's become all too common in modern superhero movies, and many would argue that it started with this overblown letdown. <laughs> Stings, doesn't it? Number 7. The Dark Tower. He who aims at his hands forgotten the face of his father. With blockbuster movies like It and ambitious TV shows like Castle Rock, the works of Stephen King have inspired some of the most successful projects in recent memory. Unfortunately, Hollywood could not get King's magnum opus right. You'd think that a Dark Tower film would mainly focus on the awesome gunslinger and the badass man in black. Instead, center stage is given to a boring kid who feels like he wandered off the set of a young adult adaptation. This isn't real. What's worse, this movie is supposed to be a follow-up to the novels, which technically makes it canon. Even the various Easter eggs tailor-made for fans are hard to appreciate when the story is so lackluster. Everyone who walks with you dies. Number 6. Ghostbusters Never been good in a fight. With some of the other movies on this list, fans at least went to the theaters before losing their cool. With Ghostbusters, however, the hate was unleashed before the movie even came out, albeit for different reasons. Many fans were pissed that it was an unnecessary reboot banking off a comedy classic. Other fans were disappointed that they'd never get to see Ghostbusters 3 with the original cast reprising their roles. Some were even upset that the Ghostbusters were all women, drawing attention to a larger problem with society. There is a ghost inside that thermos. Don't touch it, don't touch it. Booyah, emphasis on the boo. 
Well, I would love to see that. I really would. Meanwhile, more indecisive fans were just annoyed that they had to listen to so much bickering regarding a film that honestly was not worthy of such controversy. Number 5. Death Note Good. Now as long as we're playing, let's do it right. There's no need to stop it. Hollywood has proven time after time that live-action anime adaptations are never a good idea. That being said, Death Note is easily one of the most well-written, tightly plotted, and character-driven anime of all time. With source material like that, the people behind this 2017 film practically had a certified hit gift wrap to them. It's truly amazing just how much this movie gets wrong, though. You're the one who flew into the sun. I'm just here to make sure you actually burn. The characters act nothing like their animated counterparts, the direction doesn't fit the franchise's tone, the plot makes no sense, and it's not even set in Japan. This isn't Death Note, it's a confused cross between Final Destination and 13 Reasons Why. Way to understand your fanbase, guys. Whose side are you on? There are no sides, only the game. Number 4. Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull Damn, I thought that was closer. Seeing as how the third film was called The Last Crusade, there was naturally a level of cynicism among audiences when a fourth Indiana Jones movie entered production. Since Steven Spielberg, Harrison Ford, and even Karen Allen were returning, though, there was no way Kingdom of the Crystal Skull would let fans down, right? Much like how TV shows jump the shark, this film coined the phrase, nuking the fridge. The abundance of CGI, miscasting of Shia LaBeouf, and unimaginative aliens aside, everybody involved with this project just comes off as tired. Hardly anyone seemed to put their heart into this sequel, so why even make it? Well, the film did gross over $700 million. Enough said. Unshackle me, I'll give you a big hug. Number 3. The Last Airbender You are my prisoner. Airbender. First of all, cramming the first season of a TV show into a 100-minute movie already feels like a middle finger to the fans. It's as if the filmmakers are implying they can accomplish even more in less time. Since Avatar The Last Airbender was such a great show, though, one would hope that some of that brilliance would rub off on the film adaptation. This movie was pretty much doomed from the second it enlisted M. Night Shyamalan, however, who is clearly the wrong director to helm an effects-heavy action fantasy. The fact that nobody could pronounce protagonist Aang's name correctly should be enough to tell you why this Razzie-winning dud infuriated the fanbase. Is it okay if you tell me your name? The monks named me Aang. Number 2. Batman and Robin what killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age! The history of Batman ranges from dark and brooding to colorful and campy. Regardless of which version you prefer, however, this Joel Schumacher version was sure to disappoint. Those who grew up with Tim Burton's Batman movies were appalled to see the franchise trade in its gothic, complex signature for more lighthearted, toyetic demeanor. As over the top as Batman and Robin was, however, the film still took itself too seriously for fans of the old Adam West TV series. So even if you're in the mood for a corny throwback, the results are uneven to say the least. To add insult to injury, it marked the end of an era for Batman in film. This is why Superman works alone. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some dishonorable mentions. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. my eye. Shut up. Shh. He's not going anywhere. We all stick together. Sir has been your eye. Uh, guys, guys. Impossible. Something my grandfather taught me. First rule is, there are no rules. Showtime synergy. <laughs> Number 1. Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. No one can kill a Jedi. I wish that was so. Haters can trash The Last Jedi all they want, but when all's said and done, no Star Wars movie will ever stir up more animosity than The Phantom Menace. After 16 years of buildup, this prequel forever tainted the franchise with an over-reliance on CGI, an incomprehensible story, stilted acting, embarrassing dialogue, and he who must not be named. The introduction of midi-chlorians in particular boiled blood. Over 20,000. Even Master Yoda doesn't have a midichlorian count that high. Yeah, turns out the Force isn't connected to one's spiritual side. It's just microscopic life forms at work. On top of that, this all came from the mind of George Lucas. 
It's like watching the Emerald Curtain pull back, revealing that the wizard isn't as wonderful as we thought. I have a bad feeling about this. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.